Uh, hello everyone. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design a combined footing in CSI. A combined footing is uh, actually uh, contains of two uh, column, and uh, sometimes the single footing cannot uh, satisfy, or the spacing is very close together. So it's better to use a combined footing. Now we go to the CSI safe, and here is creating a new model and I use uh, uh, use built in sitting I use metric and uh, ACI code uh, okay uh, next I want to use a template uh, just for this simple tutorial uh, here just uh, I want to use the template it's called a uh, combined footing uh, I select the combined footing and it has me to give the size of the uh, uh, the size of the uh, footing so it's in x direction 2 meter uh, I suppose we have the in the left side 2 meter and 2 in the right side is totally become uh, 4 meter uh, in along the y direction is also uh, also uh, 2 meter uh, so this is the exactly one single uh, footing size and then we want to Consider the loading and spacing, which is the column between columns. So that's about six meters, and uh, we assume the uh, separate modulus is uh, twenty thousand, and the thickness is uh, sixty uh, centimeters. Uh, now we want uh, about uh, four thousand kilonewtons uh, uh, actual force, a vertical actual force. Uh, and uh, the moment in the dead load and also in the life load is 2500 so we uh, provide a very large uh, load to get more uh, reinforcement in the column just for the tutorial and see more illustration and the moment is also we're gonna give 120 uh, 100 and 150 and uh, 120 uh, uh, this is the first loading pattern. Uh, we also have second loading pattern in case if you, you have uh, because we should create two load pattern for the two column uh, we can use the same uh, or also we can change uh, but it is uh, typically uh, two column we want to make a, a small changes at least 3 to uh, 15 and uh, uh, 315 instead of 2000 you know using this one and the moment should be 150 uh, 150 and in the y direction also we want to uh, apply 120, 120 so now the square for which for each column we want to give about uh, 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 let's uh, we want to give 700 millimeter now it's okay and uh, next is okay uh, now uh, this is a combined footing uh, uh, footing geometry and uh, it's already created some straps because we want to design based on the straps, straps uh, method uh, now we can go to in a 3d and uh, let's see uh, this is the extrusion and you can see the extrusion uh, exactly this is the column and this is the foundation uh, we also can see some uh, rendering, but uh, I think uh, the rendering is not available. The CSI safe in other uh, soft, uh, in other product is okay. Now uh, the next is uh, what we're gonna do is we want to define a combination. We want to define a combination load. Uh, uh, go to the load combination. Uh, we have uh, auto combination and also we can manually add it. So I use auto combination, so the footing is exactly the same. Uh, looks like slab, and I'm gonna consider the concrete slab. Okay, and he here is two. Uh, one is dead load, and one is 1.2 dead load, 1.6. Uh, you also can check and apply the proper uh, combination. It's okay. Uh, next is. Uh, the material I'm going to because we in template we already giving material and also the thickness is 60 millimeters footing so this is section properties 15 uh, footing one 
and the material is uh, in the footing we can go to check it and define in a section properties we go to the slab section and here is footing and here we get footing one the concrete is this one so we want to change the concrete to uh, concrete 50 uh, this uh, concrete uh, United States and here is concrete and want to concrete 50 just suppose it's a high-rise building and it, uh, or mid-rise building and we want to use uh, a better concrete. Now we're here, we're going to select 50 and instead of 40, uh, this thickness is 60 millimeters. In case the, the design didn't pass, so then we can uh, uh, change the thickness and also the uh, concrete properties. Uh, we can go to the analysis and you can select here. But before that, we should uh, save we should save it and it's called uh, combine it uh, footing design now we press the uh, design uh, command and it will take some moment to finish it the analysis completed and uh, we can go to uh, C in the uh, in the now it's the design is also refreshing. Oh no no. Going to inner inner plan and I'm gonna see. Now uh, this is inner plan. Uh, this is the uh, here you can see the displacement used uh, from the date load. Uh, we can see uh, the is uh, the in in a in a z direction uh, about uh, 60 millimeter uh, displacement uh, in this area because load is in this area is quite high and this area is least we can see yeah is 10 millimeter now what's next uh, we want to uh, go to uh, some other parameters at least uh, we want to go to the display here the uh, uh, soil properties list uh, uh, here the soil pressure uh, we want to see how uh, soil pressure affect to the to this one we're gonna using the uh, combo list the second combo is the largest one and we'll use this one uh, okay now it's the concrete uh, the soil pressure so we had is uh, 20,000 so it's 500 quite least so there is uh, the soil pressure is very low now what's next uh, we want to go to uh, check uh, the crack width in this uh, slab in this uh, foundation uh, we again go to the second connection and using this effect uh, here is the uh, uh, this code, European code, and I'm going to OK. And now you can see how crack is uh, created and propagated across this foundation. So this area is much more larger. You can see in the uh, in this one 0 0.1, but here is 0 0.2 uh, because the effect this take effect from the other side of the column as well. But here is also 0 0.1, and this. Is should be much more larger uh, and now we go to the design part and we can go to design part first device we can accept uh, this factor as a default and the can we can give the cover to uh, 30 millimeter uh, 30 millimeter and uh, so this this is for slab because the uh, mostly we use C CSI say for slab and uh, this uh, 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 foundation is uh, a solid element looks like a slab uh, so main and bottom cover uh, we want to assume this same okay so no need to change anything is automatically based on the code detected now we want to go to the design and check the design here you can go to start design check uh, be, 
now the rebar uh, this is the rebar uh, we have these amounts of rebar and these amounts of uh, rebar in this direction and we can uh, go to the detailing uh, in the detailing uh, we can uh, select some uh, choose some uh, uh, actually some uh, configuration and footing and go to footing it's called at development length or not you also Cortel should uh, consider or not and uh, the detail all bar detail bar above typical bar and also you can select this one and get selecting uh, which size of uh, rebar you want in the top and bottom layer in uh, so this is uh, automatically program will determine this okay and we want to go to the detailing and start slab mat detailing check Now uh, this is the plan and we can go to the footing and here is 3D view and we can see the rebar uh, this is the top which was that yellow color uh, rebar and this is the bottom of two column uh, so this is the rebar uh, configuration or uh, rebar setting uh, so in uh, there is something else and show you here this is the layer and you can see uh, top layer how the top layer should be distributed the, the rebar and in the bottom we have the bottom layer here like this in the right side left side and here is also uh, in layer B because we have in horizontal and vertical uh, we have in the middle and two in the uh, middle right left side so one more thing is in a view we can go to see some section because the section is going to be how uh, here is the uh, cartilage area we should create this one and these areas don't have but for uh, you can provide uh, and that's called uh, construction uh, rebar or some extra rebar for creating a form and this is extended for tire here you can extend more and so this is it uh, this is finished uh, this is the plan and you can uh, export these uh, deta uh, details to the Revit and again uh, use that uh, this area and you can create again uh, uh, detailing and also uh, reinforcement so this was the combined footing design and if you have any question please put in the comment I will find time to answer you see you next time